Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we got a little exciting episode for you. Today we're going to talk about air conditioning. Something new to the channel here I'm bringing. I had originally intended to um, do a gold wing video today, but I've been out riding for the weekend and had to do a little work today, so I didn't have time to prepare for one. So I thought I'd talk about air conditioning since it's going to be that time of the season here, in, especially here in Texas where temperatures are getting to be 80, 90, even up to 100 degrees. And everybody wants their air conditioning running great. So they can stay nice and cool when they're driving around town here. So if you're thinking about tackling this job yourself, I want to let you know I'm here to show you what type of tools could you use to work on air conditioning and everything and what type you're going to need here. So let's get started. All right, let's first talk about manifold gauges here. These are very important. And this is what you use to see how everything's running. Very important. Okay. Now, I got three of these, as you can plainly see here. Now, let's talk about this one first. Now, this one is my Harbor Freight uh, 134A set of gauges right here. I think you can get them for about, oh, 59, or if they go and sell for $49 sometimes and everything. And they're not bad, but they're not great either. If you plan on just using this one time and one time only, this is perfect. It worked great. I've used this about two or three times, I think two successfully, and then the third time, it gave me problems. It started leaking, it started, um, let's see, something in here was, you know, I could not get it to take a vacuum, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I thought I had done something wrong with my work, or it was something leaking, and I spent, and then I tried another set of gauges, and then all of a sudden, the gauges were holding. So then I realized that these gauges were bad. They started leaking after a few times. So I really, if you're going to do this, you know, on a regular basis or even do all, take care of all your vehicles or whatever, this may be something you don't want to invest in. I'm just going to tell you right now that they were great when I got started, but after doing the third vehicle, it, they finally went out and I, I could probably rebuild them, put new seals on them. I haven't decided right now. I have this and this has been working great. But just let you know that if you're thinking about buying these, well, like I said, one time use only, good anything after that it's it's just junk doesn't work that great now these on the other hand these are fantastic i actually we used a set of these when i was in residential air condition these are yellow jackets one of the i think a top brand now these aren't the high dollar fancy ones where they got digital low and uh, high pressure readings and everything this is just your regular set of gauges right here mechanical gauges the hoses are good great quality now it does cost a lot more than what this one cost it I think this one runs about maybe 100, 120. I can't remember exactly how much it costs, but it's well worth the price because I've used these many, many times and I've gotten my money back, you know, uh, doing these air conditioning jobs I do around here. So it's well worth the money and they last for years. They can, you know, as long as these hoses aren't rot, dry rotted, you know, they're still good and everything and also i'll give you a little tip if you ever want to know if your gauges are holding or working you can always vacuum down your gauges here with a vacuum pump over there you just take the yellow hose hook it up and then just vacuum her down and see if she holds that's how i realized that these weren't working when i vacuumed the gauges down they couldn't even hold themselves without leaking so i knew these gauges had a leak in them and everything so i, I went ahead and bought the bullet and spent the money for these and i don't think I ever looked back. They're great and everything. Now, when you get by these set of gauges, they even though they do, uh, I think, 134A, R22, and R12 and everything. Now, when you do 134A, you have to buy these little couplings. I got these on Amazon for like maybe 10 bucks or a piece or something like that. I don't, maybe they were eight, I don't know. But you'll need these to work on them, the hook up to the line so you can connect on there to your low and high side on your car there now i don't keep these hooked up i try to keep these things nice and sealed tightly when i'm not using them and everything and i keep these in my toolbox so i don't ever lose them all right now let's talk about this other set of gauges because these are automotive ones as well now these do the a lot of the older systems um before 134a you had r12 and everything this will also do r22 as well but mainly i someone in my family gave this to me they didn't need them anymore they've been sitting for years in fact, I'm probably going to have to buy some new hoses and check to make sure these are still working first and foremost before I even spend any money on them. I just haven't done it yet because no one has brought a vehicle with R12 that needed to be serviced yet. So I haven't even bothered messing with these. Now, when that happens, then I will work on these and get these prepped. But 
These are, I keep these around for in case I ever have a vehicle of, that still has R12 in it. Very unlikely, but you never know. And it never hurts to have an extra set of manifold gauges, honestly, to tell you the truth. Now, uh, why, another good reason why it's good to have two is because uh, if you have two different uh, one, you know, one with R12 and one with 134A, even though this one over here can do R12 and everything, the best thing is not really, you know, when you have refrigerant, it's got oil in it. And you don't really want to mix 134A and R12 or, or R22 if you want to hook it up to your house and see how your air, house air conditioning is running and everything. Don't want it, It's best not to mix it. I mean, you can clean this stuff out. I mean, I really don't because it's just more of a hassle. I just buy another set of, since this was given to me, I just, I've gone set for 134A and um, R12. And everything if I ever want to do my house my dad's got a set of gauges for specifically for R22 or 410A which is a house Freon so we won't even get into that that's for houses and everything but if you're going to work on cars you need a good manifold gauge set and like I said it's up to you how much you want to spend and bite the bullet or like I said one time use Harbor Freight multiple time uses and good from years on uh, I'd get the yellow jacket and you just need to buy some couplings all right, now that we got that all covered, let's move on to our next item. Okay, let's talk about another important item here that's very important if you're going to be fully servicing your air conditioning here. Now, this is a scale. Now, you're probably wondering, why do you need a scale in everything? Because when you... <laughs> in cars, it's very important to actually put in the correct amount. Now, if you look in your car and open the hood, you'll see that it has a um, label for what type of Freon and how many pounds or ounces it takes and everything now this is very important if you have a fully MD sipped system and need to service it and it says that that's what you put in now i can't say this enough to put in no less and no more all right if you put any more than what it says on the label you're going to risk of damaging your compressor and having to do the job over again now this cost a little bit of money but honestly i was doing it and it was a lot better than using the little bitty cans of Freon and guessing and getting under guess. I did that a lot. I'd get close, but it wasn't close enough. Now, I um, bought the big bottles you can see back there, which we'll get to that bottle in just a second. So I can weigh it and see how much I go in. And these things is fantastic. I can set an alert when I, or a countdown or whatever to whatever. And when it goes, I shut it off and then it's good. No more. So if you're going to inst you know, put in... You need to buy a scale or use some sort of scale to get pretty accurate. I recommend a digital scale that goes down to the ounces because a lot of them will be down in ounces or maybe grams, or, which you can probably convert those if you want. So, but I bought this from Amazon. I don't remember exactly how much. It was like 50, maybe 60 bucks. Well worth it. It's come handy a lot of times and I will probably be using it here tomorrow. The server is another air conditioner I have to work on and everything. But I definitely recommend a scale. Um, you, as you can see, if you need a number, this is the um, Master Cool. There's, that's a really great brand for um, air conditioning equipment. I don't know if you can see the part number. There you go. You can pause the video there if you want to look it up and see what you guys can get and everything. But I recommend getting a scale. All right, let's move on to the next item. Okay, these are your little quick charge hoses and everything. They come with little cans that you buy at AutoZone, O'Reilly's, and... Those little cans that you um i bought them you know i'm showing this because this came here with when i bought the can and everything Oop. okay back to what i was doing here all right if you really want to use these uh quick disconnects i mean they're great if you're in a pinch or on a trip and you don't have your gauges i guess i don't really like using these things they're not that great of course i know how to read gauges so i prefer using my manifold gauges and that's why i bought this can tap I can put this onto a can, that can right there, and I can hook my gauges and I can put it in and I can read the pressure region, which is another thing also, which I'm going to jump over here to real fast, is pressure charts. Now, you don't really need this when you're filling it up from scratch, but if you're checking it, it's um, you can actually look this up and find this online and everything, a pressure chart for 134A, if you just Google it, you should be able to find something and remember, this all depends on your temperature and humidity and all that good fun stuff. And everything and usually that the chart I found online I use it multiple times to even get see if I'm even in the ballpark whenever I'm trying to top off a unit 
it's really best to really empty the unit and put the exact mount in but sometimes it's just not practical to do that all the time sometimes you can get away with just putting in a few ounces and going on so these have their place but i don't really use them i prefer this in fact i bought this and have never used it because i've never had to just serve as a halfway unit it's always been fully complete so but i bought it because i knew i was going to need it one time if i'm ever out on the road i can service the vehicle real quick and if i have my gauges which sometimes if i go on a long trip i know it sounds crazy if i i might take them with me and put them in the toolbox somewhere just in case you never know and everything but these are little things that do come in handy. I keep them. I never get rid of them and everything. So let's move on to the next thing here. The next important. Item. Okay, the next item we got to talk about on our list is a vacuum pump. Very, very important. You cannot do an AC job without a vacuum pump. All right, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You got to have one of these. All right, now this is, now you don't have to have one as fancy as this. This is a Robin Air, six CFMs. So this puts out a lot of power and it suck, does a lot of sucking. Yeah, I know. I know you guys are out there funny. Go, that's what she said. Okay, anyway, moving on. Now, these, the reason why you want one of these is because it needs to take the moisture and the water out of the lines when you either break open the line or the or the sips has been completely empty for a long time. All right, moisture and everything, condensation, is all going to build up in there. So you need to get it all out because water is the enemy to AC, all right? The water or moisture or anything like that, it'll destroy it. That's, a system and nothing flat so you have to get one of these now i have never used the harbor freight vacuum pumps i've heard they're pretty good they're not too expensive in fact you can get probably a deal combo between the manifold gauges and the vacuum pump and everything so i don't know you have to wait to see there's deals but if you want a nice good one the robin airs are very nice this pump has served me well she's not perfect she leaks a little bit but as much as i use it you just keep it filled up with fluid and it's good enough and everything all right another thing is also when you buy a pump get pump oil very important to keep the the pump level you know where it needs to be right there so when you buy it buy that that way you, if you ever let it sit up for a while and you get you have pump oil and everything so that is something you cannot get out of so don't let anyone else talk to say that you don't need to vacuum it down you got to vacuum it down it's very important and everything and a good thing to do about vacuum them down you should vacuum your system down for maybe about oh 30 40 minutes you know there's not really a specific time limit but the longer the better usually about 30 minutes is good enough i mean you can walk away go eat lunch come back and an hour later and then be ready to go and everything not a big deal there all right guys now that we got that done and talked about let's move on to our next item one more item I should bring up real fast that if you get in a vacuum pump is that make sure you get an adapter fitting. All right, I don't know if the Harbor Freight pumps come with a um, 134 fitting already on them, but you'll need one of these fittings here that will adapt down so you can operate a vacuum pump or anything like that so your gauges, manifold gauges can hook up onto this. All right. Okay, we're getting down to our last bit of tools here now, but these are another must. These are little AC and fuel disconnect lines. And you can buy this at Harbor Freight or get it on Amazon. It's not very expensive. It's very cheap. In fact, if you go to um, probably look on Amazon, they got better tools than this. These are just your plain Jane ones. They got fancier ones that are probably a lot easier to get these lines off. Because I'm not going to lie to you, getting these lines off can be a pain in the butt. I mean, seriously, sometimes they come off easy. Sometimes they don't. And it, 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 it just aggravates you all day. And everything it'll be the last it never fails for me that the last one that i need to finish to taking it apart and it sits there and freezes up it just enough to make you angry but you got to have these to work on your ac system or some form of tool like this and so you cannot get out of this so we're up to our list that you need manifolds a vacuum pump and you need this now these other two items are also very important too and everything um got a temp gauge you got a laser pointer oh, i love these laser pointers they're great you can see how it does you see two lasers it's getting the average temperature between the both and it okay i'm not going to act like i explained the science behind it but that's the way i read it it picks the temperature from two points and gives it an average or so pretty cool little fancy it's a high dollar you don't need one that's high dollar and everything uh, you, can get, you can pick these up at harbor freight when they're on sale for uh, i don't remember maybe 30 bucks or less something like that 
and everything but um it's a great tool this is a fluke so yeah fluke 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 yeah there it is fluke also you what you can do with these um, other than checking temperature on the air vents make sure what's coming out you know you can tease your kitties out there your cats choo -choo -choo -choo. oh yeah they go crazy over this thing it's one of my favorite things to do is just make them go nuts but no seriously um they <laughs> they're good for checking your temperature if it's coming out you know you can get a good instant reading with this and i plus this is good for when you're doing your house you can always aim this at your vents to see what the temperature is coming out and everything so it's good to have these any time you know more than just doing ac work you know checking you know if something's overheating and check it it's great so definitely invest in one of these lasers it doesn't have to be as fancy as this but one of these would be great all right on to our last one of our last tools here now this is a little thermostat the thump the i'm not even gonna attempt to say the word but you put this in your car vent and it gives a pretty good accurate reading sometimes i even ride around with this in the vent in the car if i have a question car that's in question and see what it's constantly blown out as and everything and if you can see in there there's a green section that's where you want the needle right there in that green section that's around about 40 45 to 35 and everything you want it to be right around in there that lets you know that your ac is cooling correctly and everything's all good you just take it out of this tube the red tube here let's see boom boom or you can probably leave it in here if you want but that's what it looks like actually i think you can leave it the whole thing together here and just put it in and clip it onto a vent and then there you go all right now we're going to move on to our last bit of stuff is the freon okay now for the freon now this stuff's important getting the right freon now you can buy them in the little cans here they get bigger cans than this or you can buy them in this big can now for me i do since i do this a lot i buy the big cans because it's just cheaper for me to buy a bigger can it never goes bad really it's good for a long time and like i said i've got four vehicles with i'll take it back three vehicles with air conditioning in them so i have to keep all these up tame plus i got family relatives and everything now don't i charge them so don't think i don't because that stuff's expensive freon is expensive not as expensive as r22 go look it up <laughs> it is r22 is expensive and honestly it's really i i just prefer doing it with the big bottle it's a lot easier i'm good for a long time but it does cost a lot of money i think it was a little bit under 200 dollars to get this i think maybe 163 one eh, somewhere around there it was somewhere right underneath 100 200 dollars which is quite expensive i think i do believe i can't remember the exact cost but that's what i think or i think that's what it was i should have looked it up before i made this video but anyway the only place i can get this is from um cascos or carquest and everything now you see this hfc 134 it's the same thing as r 341a it's just a different there's nothing really different they just give it a different name i'm sure there's someone will tell me there's a, a little bit of difference but you can use this in an r 3134a system no problem and everything all right so that's the i think gonna cut it here this freon is just self-explanatory and everything so i think we've gone over all the tools here that we can so guys all right guys and that is the tools you practically need to work on your own air conditioning system it looks like a lot of stuff but it's really not that bad and everything guys so if you feel like tackling or you ever need any help you can always you know give me a message and i'll be glad to help you out and everything because some of the stuff can be a little confusing but it's it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it and everything i hope i helped you out a lot there and what you needed and what you can go get and everything guys so if you guys are um like this video please give it a thumbs up or if you thought it was educational it does a does it helps me out whenever you guys give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends that are getting ready to do some air conditioning stuff to help them get a little idea what kind of tools they need also if you want to follow me on facebook twitter and all that stuff and everything if you're going to send me a friends quest on facebook let me know who you are just don't sometimes i usually don't add random people so if you put in there just let me know who you are and everything so i don't uh, freak out and go who's this guy and everything all right guys it has been another day i hope to do some we'll do some more gullwing videos 
here in the near future here I had originally a plan to do one this time but it just time just ran out for me so it will be coming up here soon we'll be um, putting on the charge indicator on that bike for the alternator I have it I've got some of the stuff I haven't got all the, the connectors and pins and everything that I wanted to put on it so we're still waiting for those to come in and everything so hopefully we'll get to that soon we're gonna have a lot more video probably coming in and you guys probably saw me in an earlier video where I changed the oil on that lawnmower well that lawnmower had officially just jumped out on me it's um the rings have gone out it started smoking and and it went poof that was the end of its lifespan so i have picked up another lawnmower recently for free that's the engine's good the deck's bad so we're going to do a swap and it's got an electric start so that's going to be something interesting to look forward to here hopefully here pretty soon well, anyway, guys, like I said, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We do interesting things around here. We talk about any and everything. We mainly hit on gold wings and been doing some VWs. And we also talk about automotive tools. And we do Harbor Freight tool reviews, too, as well. So we hit a lot of stuff on this channel if you're a first-time listener here. So I hope you um, will stick around. And for all the future fun stuff we got planned, and subscribe, guys. Well, guys, it's been fun. It's getting late, and my dinner's getting cold, so it is time to call it a day here, guys. Until next time, you guys stay safe out there.